The sale and use of recreational marijuana has only been legal in Massachusetts for a few years, but the Commonwealth is already home to some major national players. Cureleaf is a cannabis retailer, cultivator, and manufacturer. Headquartered in Wakefield, the company started in four northeast states and has now expanded to 23 across the country. So we went through a lot of different names. Cureleaf kind of resonated with us due to, you know, the implied medical benefits of the leaf. Patrick Johnson is the company's Northeast regional president. We start off as medical, but we are now obviously moving into adult use. Here in Massachusetts, that combined market has prompted four retail stores and two facilities that both grow marijuana and produce cannabis products. And Cureleaf hopes to continue to expand. We're aiming to get up to 100,000 canopy, which is the limit in Massachusetts. The company is valued at roughly $10 billion and says it's investing some of its revenue back into the community through its Rooted in Good program. Rooted in Good is, is really built on a few different pillars. One of them is to try to promote job growth in the industry from areas of disproportionate impact and from people negatively impacted on the war on drugs. The company also offers mentorships to small business owners trying to break into the cannabis industry. We're trying to kind of create those networks, make those connections so that all of us have this opportunity to kind of build a bigger and better community. One great thing was actually coming to do a walkthrough through Cure Leaf and talking to some of their top employees and their cultivation assistant and just talking to them about their troubles and what they had to do. Reginald Stanfield is the CEO and head horticulturalist at Just Incredible Cultivation. Both of my grandparents are both farmers. I've been with plants my whole entire life. It just came natural. Stanfield's genetic green thumb was an advantage, but starting his own business was not without its struggles. It's nothing worse than getting the business started. We've had to go through challenges, you know, sleeping in RVs and it got up to negative five, you know, three degrees. So we don't have showers for weeks at a time. He and his team made many more sacrifices along the way. We were supposed to actually receive our inspection the day of Massachusetts locking down. So we, we kind of lost all of our genetics and all of our starting points and we just had to go home and wait it out. Basically start over fresh. It took us two and a half years to actually go from the beginning of the application to being locked. License. They built that place with blood, sweat, and tears. So when Just Incredible's first harvest at its facility in Cummington didn't measure up, Cureleaf stepped in. We prepaid for the entire harvest. We took it onto our lab and we were able to manufacture products with it. Since then, Cureleaf has committed to buying a percentage of Just Incredible's harvest, paying ahead of time to provide much needed cash flow. Some of the challenges we've faced, we want to make sure that they don't have those same uh, hurdles. I think the plan itself is an amazing process and how we go about taking care of it is what makes us different. Now, Just Incredible Cultivation is thriving, up to about 1,500 plants with plans to expand soon. Hopefully we're in all the states that are legalized in the next five years. We plan on being one of the biggest African-American owned cultivation in the whole entire United States. The plan is, it's a powerful thing. There's, there's no denying it. And Reginald Stanfield is trying to help other minority-owned businesses get their start in the cannabis industry as well. Yeah, and back to Cureleaf, the company is really passionate about working with veterans. It works with both Massachusetts Fallen Heroes and Veterans Cannabis Project, a group that advocates for unrestricted access of medical cannabis for veterans. And some of Cureleaf proceeds actually go towards Veterans Cannabis Project. A lot of good work being done yeah. out there. A budding business in a building with a surprising past.